Hey folks, this is Gerard Twitter Culture Culture. My name is Gerard. This channel is about plants, plant love, plant care, and all the above. Um, and when you're a plant collector, you get to say words like fenestration, algleonema, deshidia. So I haven't gone yet, even though I'm like, I think I'm like, I think I'm about an hour away from Pepper's Greenhouse, maybe an hour and a half. So I haven't gone yet, even though I'm about an hour and some change away, but this is a special unboxing from Pepper's Greenhouse. And I hope to go there before it actually gets a little bit cold. All right, so yeah, Pepper's Greenhouse. I've seen a lot of people go, show up at Pepper's Greenhouse. And they say they, they have some killer deals. I am dying to go. I just need some opportunity to go. But I was actually lucky enough to pick up on their online store. I'll put the link in the description below. But we have a new plant that I want to show you and um, they actually came with some information uh, I actually have like a like a Delaware state of Delaware Department of Agricultural uh, nursery certificate it just says a lot of stuff it says it certifies that according to Delaware code title 3 chapter 13 section 1301 to 1313 inclusive the nursery stock of Pepper's Greenhouse has the address has been inspected and found in compliance with Natural Plant Board of Pest Cleanliness. This plant, the plants contained in this shipment have been found to be free from Japanese beetle on the basis that the rooted plants or crowns were produced and approved in an improved Japanese beetle, Papilia japonica, free greenhouse and screenhouse as provided in the U.S. domestic Japanese beetle harmonization plan. Any plants contained in this shipment were grown in soilless potting mix or peat pellets. The nursery stocks in the shipment meet quarantine. So it's basically about the... Uh, Japanese beetles and they are a problem uh, I see them in my yard um, I guess late summer and they are a problem along with the uh, lantern flies and I just haven't seen one but hopefully I never have to see one because they are destroying PA Pennsylvania stuff like that but that's neither here nor there but we are on to our unboxing from Pepper's Greenhouse got my uh, red jewel scissors here and I'm gonna open her up I've been doing like a lot of unboxing but these are just plants that uh, oh and by the way I did uh, buy this from Pepper's Greenhouse for uh, $12.95 $9.85 for shipping and handling total cost 2280 and like I said I have to go because I'm, I'm sure I've seen a lot of people uh, buying plants from there and just coming back with a ton of plants and it's so close to me I just I've just been dying to go but uh, this one um, well you got convenience of online which is cool. I'm still opening box, getting closer. We got newspaper. I always like techniques of how people wrap their plants because plants are so delicate. So it's just coming out of here and actually had it upside down. I can see a little bit of it. Almost there. And I'm 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 approaching my no buy situation, but these these deals keep coming, the prices keep coming down. 
Oh, bye. Wow. Wow. And uh, what we here, what we have here. Let me make sure I don't butcher the name. And actually, I make sure I don't give you the wrong species type. But this is definitely a philodendron. And is the also called the silver moonshine. And also uh, gives you a little bit of information. It's flopping around. Let me make sure. I haven't really looked at the plant yet. But I can, we already made sure. They are, Delaware already made sure it's pest free. So I'm sure there's no pests on this thing. Um, but they have on the label. And I'll read that to you. It says Philodendrum X Silver. Silver Moonshine Philodendrum. A rare and unusual hybrid Philodendrum. A hybrid, a rare and unusual hybrid philodendron leaves have fine alternating silver and green stripes, hardy to zone 10. Makes a great easy care indoor tropical plant, likes filtered light. Pepper's Greenhouse in Milton, Delaware. Go check them out. Very cool. This thing, I, I already need to, because it keeps flopping over. I don't want to damage it and have it upset with me now just to make I've been doing like the moment of silence thing and I'm, I'm probably gonna do it because I just want to make sure this is a living thing so we want to welcome it here to my sanctuary of uh, the culture of horticulture Dave Gerard so moment of silence thank you thank you that was a quick one but it knows what's going on I'm not sure if it's a he or a she but let us see what Google has to say about the silver moonshine philodendron. Hey Google, what are care tips for the silver moonshine philodendron? Here's a summary from the website thesil.com. Philodendron, silver, one, general care, two, sunlight, three, water, four, humidity, five, temperature, six, size, Seven, common problems, and eight, precautions. Or a bunch of numbers. Uh, let's try something else. Hey Google, how do you take care of a silver philodendron? On the website plantandflowerinfo.com, they say, in bright, indirect light, water when the soil has dried down about half of the grow pot. It will not do well if kept too moist for a long period of time. Be sure not to overwater. In low light, allow to dry completely before watering. All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna milk. We're just gonna do our own research. But folks, it's Christmas again. Silver moonshine, philodendron from Pepper's Greenhouse. Pepper, or whoever you guys are, keep doing your thing because I hear great things about you. Hopefully, I can send some business your way. This is Gerard's Horticulture Culture. And if I haven't told you yet, make sure you subscribe for more information and great plants that I find from... Oh, and I also got this from another guru who I've learned a lot from, Alien Jungle. She put me on the Pepper's Greenhouse. Uh, I want to put her in the link below. And if you haven't, also check out my Instagram at Gerard's underscore horticulture underscore culture. I love to chat with you guys. Any information I can give you as far as questions about plants and things like that, we could communicate. I would love to give you information. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. This is Gerard's Horticulture Culture and keep growing.